Hey everybody, welcome back to some StarCraft. Uh, let's have a look at the War Council, see what I have. And no one cares where it's on. Alright, so what I use here is... Um, uh, the important parts are Annihilator, Dragoon, Sentinel. Um, we don't really use... and Energizer. I like, I like the Energizers, actually. They're quite nice. Um, everything else not important. We're not making Cloaked Warriors, we're not making Corsairs, and we're not making... definitely not making... Dark Archons, but you can make High Templar. Uh, important thing to note about Dark Archons that I attempted. Um, you cannot mind control uh, Ultralisks or Broodlords. They have a status called Frenzy, which apparently counts in the campaign. It it's a thing on the multiplayer as well, but it counts in the uh, it counts in the campaign too, where you cannot mind control Broodlords or Ultralisks. It's actually pretty stupid. Um, so, it kind of ruins the amount of options you have with the Dark Archon. So, if anything, you know, you can put on the High Templars if you want to use them. Uh, so, we'll just keep them on for now. But anytime you're in a mission against Zerg, which we already know we're against Zerg because it told us this before, uh, then do not even have Dark Archons on. They have their second ability, I should actually mention. But the one where you... They, um, they, may, they force all the air t targets in the area to attack each other for 10 seconds. I don't like that that much. I tried to use it, I just found it kind of meh. And as for Solar Forge, we have uh, Orbital Simulator, Solar Lance. Solar Lance, I think, is very important. Shield Overcharge, I like as well. Um, I had a bunch of points, but I decided to just put them into Construction Time and uh, Shield Recharge. I mean... To be honest, you could probably sync this into Warp Harmonization if you want, but I f really feel that in order to be successful, you either need to have Orbital Assimilator or Chrono Surge for the economy boost. Uh, either one of these. I like Orbital Assimilator better, so it's just how I am. I mean, you know, I think this is the one mission where Warp Harmonization isn't that bad, because you finally get full use out of the Robotics Bay, but I still will not probably use it. Um, not in a serious manner, but you know what? Maybe I, maybe I will... No, no I won't. I, I change my mind. I, I just I don't like it. It's I like I'm used to rally points, guys. I'm I just like it <laughs> like that. So I'm not gonna force myself to do something I don't like. If you use it, that's fine. The shield emitters on India must be disabled if we are to reactivate Cyros. The time to begin is now, Hierarch. All right. So destroy all Zerg structures. I mean, there's like a little base on the side, but. This is a bit of a timed mission in terms of you don't have a lot of leeway for just venturing off and doing your own thing. So, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure it is possible, uh, but I just didn't bother with it. So, oh, we get Colossi now. Cyrus, the vault of the purifiers. It is fortunate that Avon's brood has been unable to penetrate its stasis grid. I now have access to Endion's records. Hmm. The stasis grid is sealed by complicated locking mechanisms. They can only be destabilized by a certain device. The Megalith. I'll begin recovering it now, so it may work on the locks. It will need protection. These forests already crawl with Zerg abominations. Then we shall clear them out. If I may, Hierarch, this facility once developed powerful weapons for the Empire. Ah, I have heard tale of the mighty Colossi, steam cliffs, besieging enemies from afar. Let us see how they fare against the Zerg. Alright, we have some Colossus now. Another nice robotics bay unit. Very, very, very effective. Alright, we're gonna- they're gonna be a core part of our army just for this mission. The Zerg are coming from that cave. If we fire on the rock formation, it will seal the opening. And you can also do a bit of micro with them and kind of move them back as well. They're, they're like basically the siege tank, the siege tanks for the Protoss kind of in a way.
They're kind of they're kind of nice. They, I like their range because they and also units can walk under them, but they can be attacked by air units. It's actually a pretty important fact. Kind of makes them not so great for later missions, but you'll see. They're good for this one. Authorization in progress. The Megalith should be ready shortly, Hierarch. We will monitor its status and alert you when it is online. All right, here we go. Let's get the gas. The Megalith systems will take a few moments to activate. It will be ready to move out soon. In the meantime, I've upgraded our robotics facilities to construct Colossi. You can warp them in whenever you wish, Hierarch. Alright, so we could actually start poking down the cliffs right now, actually. Because these guys have such good range that it literally doesn't matter. Like, their their damage isn't anything special. It's like, um... It's not more effective against any units. It's just effective against clusters of any kind of unit. Uh, which is pretty good. And we'll also make, uh, uh our first sentry as well. The Megalith should be finishing up shortly. We should ensure that we have enough forces to defend it. So you see I'm like, kind of like, stutter stepping them once again. I mean, it's just my strategy for... whatever. The Megalith is online. We must ensure it reaches the stasis locks safely. Who thought of the name Megalith? It's like the edgiest thing I've ever heard. Alright, let's get another robotics bay out, and then we should start probably producing some uh, gateways again. Probably a forge, because yeah, we don't get that, do we? So they can step on the cliffs and get the resources that are up here. Something that regularly people can't do. The Megalith has reached the first stasis lock. It will be safe below the surface as it does its work. Uh, actually, I'm not going to build this right now because we are running out of supply. It's more important that I get uh, some pylons up and stuff. Alright, so let's go get these guys just kind of firing upon whatever is here. Kind of trying to just kite them in. And they can be attacked by spores, so that's a good thing they're taking to mind. I'm detecting Zerg movement. Warriors, ensure none reach our nexus point. I'm gonna just run away. There we go. The megalith is almost done with this lock. I would advise you to make preparations for its next move. So we can make the, this energizer into a pylon field so that we can just make more of them. Amazing. Amazing, amazing stuff. I love it. It's it's actually... That's why I think they're the best. Although, there's another option which is a close contender. It's better than the shield recharge ones. But it means that I don't have to bring... Um, I don't have to bring a probe with me to make, like, retarded pylons as it were. Sensors show the first stasis lock has been disabled. The megalith is relocating to the next one. I'm kind of just cutting them up on this stuff. There we go. Uh, I did not think this this one through. This guy can go back into this mode. All right, do we have enough? No, we don't actually have enough of this stuff. We should also make a forge here as well, and possibly another gateway. Probably three gateways is enough. We can get another guy here. And oh yes, we're gonna make immortals. You thought you thought this wasn't gonna be an immortal thing, did you? Well, you were fucking wrong. We're making mortals. Not primarily immortals, but you know. Enough of them. And already as it is, even with all these pylons, I'm already getting supply capped here. The Megalith has arrived safely at the second stasis lock. It shall be brought down shortly. Interesting. 
I believe this facility used power cores of incredible size to provide energy for experiments. They should be hidden somewhere within these hills. If our warriors can destroy them, we can claim the Solarite components within. The first power core has been secured. Warping it aboard now. Oh, there's anything else over here. Uh, some things to kill here. The canyon grows narrow ahead. Oh shit. Crawlers, they're rooting on the ridge. Brace for incoming fire. I don't think I the really want to do that. The work is nearly complete. It will move again soon. Okay, they were trying to queue onto these guys, and then they started going into an awkward place. Uh, let's make two dragoons here. Let's get some of our research going as well, and hockey that guy. So we have some ultralisks here. As you can see, we can kind of just snipe them all. It's great. Stasis lock disabled, and the grid is now at sixty percent. The megalith is en route to the third lock now. What the hell? Yeah, that's not good. Good thing I noticed that I was getting killed by stick things, but that's fun. Alright, let's get some more zealots in here. We need additional pylons, alright. Uh, I don't know where we're gonna put it. Maybe like right here. Occasionally the base will get attacked, that's why I'm kind of saving my solar lands. And then you save the shield for when you're trying to like, just deeply go in somewhere. We're gonna need our units here to kind of stay in the front, so this thing doesn't die. Yeah, maybe now is a good time. Oh, this guy's fucking dead. So maybe we should give him more Colossi now. Uh, where's one of my sentries? We're gonna make that into a guy, and we're gonna just make some units to kind of come up here. And yeah, the Colossi are just gonna continue to kind of just rally on their own accord. Alright. And we can just kind of laser that guy down with the mortals. There we go. We Gucci. We have to now go back for all the things we missed out on. So be it. Well done, warriors. The megalith is disabling the third lock. That was the probably the one good opportunity we had to actually use that stuff. And as you, see, as you can see, there is actually abundance of gas on this map. And there's also a place I actually want to go right here, now that I think about it. Uh, let's see. We need another Colossus. Yes. So what we're going to do is we're going to have this guy go back into normal mode. we got to get up here, because you can see the optional objective right here. Gotta get some more uh, models in there. This lock is almost destabilized. The megalith will relocate shortly. Fucking ultralisks. They've contributed nothing to society. Both power cores have been obtained. I'll begin working on them immediately. Alright, I think we're pretty much good. The third lock has been disabled, and the megalith is on the move. My readout shows Cybros beginning to awaken from stasis. Only two remain, Hierarch. I am detecting a large number of Zerg bioforms in the cave network ahead. We can use the terrain to our advantage. Topple the rock formations near the entrance and seal the Zerg within the keys. So what I did was I sealed it with my laser beam, kind of thing, because I'm like, whatever. Hopefully that, that the base doesn't get attacked at any point right now, but we can always kind of head back for it or shield or something. A significant number of Zerg have been detected in the caves ahead. Exercise caution. Oh, there's your attack. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna just shield everybody. Uh, 
I'm just gonna take out that guy. And we have guardians here too. Alright. Well, I need to actually use the laser here. Uh, well, I didn't know you could actually use that on the minimap. And possibly one right here, just to take that out. Alright, there we go, we handled them all. Usually that's what I use the laser for. I use it to take out that stuff. I mean, it might be a good idea to put like some cans in front of your face too, but... I mean, I waited, it was on cooldown, and I still was fine, you know? So it doesn't really matter, does it? And we probably need some more upgrades here. I mean, we, we did save this guy, so it's all good. And... Phase link authorized. The Megalith is now disabling the fourth lock. I mean, we did miss some gas here, but I, I don't care. Alright, let's start seeing what's up the cliff here. There is an entire Zerg hive cluster between the Megalith and the last stasis lock. Our only option is to fight through it. Hey, there's another base here. And... Or no, not another base, but... Uh, let's go just build two of these things. Or just one, actually. Oh, hey. It's another guy right here. Lock destabilization is nearly finished. The Megalith will disembark soon. Maybe should have made those cannons. Oh well, this should be enough to finish the game here. These guys are assholes. It doesn't matter. As I usually, I like to have my laser thing off cool down here, but we're just gonna kill like that. Whatever. I, I have nothing else to do with this stuff. Is down and the megalith is traveling. Stasis grid at 20%. Wait, I'm detecting activity in the Zerg hive nearby. They're reinforcing the last lock. Seismic disturbance detected. Nidus worms are inbound on your location. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, no, there wasn't a nidus worm there. It's fine. Like I said, like, even, even my base got destroyed and I just, it didn't matter. Oops, I, I, sorry, I just meant to do this shield thing. Can we fucking destroy these? Oh, it's doing the other ones to do it. Uh, sorry, there, there's two coming, and they're being the ones to ride to, to handle that. That's fine. I'm not even going to build any more units, really. Because we've already won. And this is what a massive colossi will do. We could probably deal with that if too much comes, but whatever. We're gonna snipe that out. Hey, we're done. Even with our base getting half destroyed. The final lock is destabilizing, and the grid is down. We've done it! Cybros is free from stasis. Recall our forces from Endeon's surface. We take this battle to Cybros. I mean, to be honest, my first run. I just used the late that that big laser beam thing I had to basically take out the forces that would come and attack my base, and that is assuming that um, I didn't just run into them in the first place, which happened a lot, and then just kill them before they even got there. So, um, I mean, that this was actually the worst case scenario where they like took out half my base and I couldn't build much more. But as I said, as if you get a couple colossi, it's fine. I mean, if you want to play it safe, just make like some cannons and some. 
of those other things just to add a bit of a buffer so they don't just run into the middle of your base. But I mean, I just, as you can see, I kind of didn't need it, you know. I mean, I could have just sent something back. I could have made more dragoons or something, but my attention waned for just a second and I lost a couple things, but I was, fuck it, who cares? There are new personnel awaiting your review in the War Council hierarchy. I assume your plan is to bind these robotic warriors to your will. They will be allowed their freedom, much like Phoenix. Making slaves of them is what led to their revolt before. Oh, this foolish idealism taxes my patience. Idealism? They are the replications of our greatest champions. We seek to free your people from the lash, and yet you desire to enslave mine? I care not for freedom, it softens a people. I will dethrone the lash and save my kind from oblivion. But they will not be free. They will serve me. Freedom is a delusion, granted to the weak by the strong. You speak as Amon does. For the sake of your life, that will change. Instill the Phoenix Machine as the new executor of the Purifiers, and use them as the tools of destruction they were built to be. Why was Endion chosen as the world Cybros was to orbit? For thousands of years, it has been a research retreat. Here, Protoss scholars secluded themselves from political affairs to focus on the task of devising technology that would benefit the Empire. The Psi Matrix was first conceived here. When it was decided that the purifiers would be shut down, they became a symbol of achievement, but also the dangers of it. So they were brought to a research colony. Where better than a place where our greatest scientists resided, constantly improving Cybros's stasis field. And how many resided on the world below? 800,000 Kali, a contingent of Templar. I only hope their deaths were swift. All right, we have the assignment available. We have received new robotic siege technology hierarch. Please make your selection. Uh, so first New off, we have this. robotics have been constructed based on Alarak's specifications. Let us hope his instructions were thorough. So these guys are kind of neat. So they increase the range of your units. They also have the force field, which is what you typically expect from the uh, uh, sentries here. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is wrong. It says increases attack range of all nearby units by zero. I think the number is two. Uh, but yeah, the, it's just kind of weird. Uh, it, it is... Um, it is a, a buff uh, to everyone, so that's it's it's actually not a bad unit to be perfectly honest. Uh, and you also have target lock. It doesn't actually attack on its own. It can't it can't hit things, but it can just you know uh, raise the damage that you do to all, all everything around like the sen the the sentry or it's called havoc. So it's not a bad unit. Um, but this one raises your attack speed uh, and movement speed of 50% for 50 seconds. Uh, by, sorry, 50% for 10 seconds. Uh, which is, I honestly, I love these little guys. You also get to deploy reinforcements right beside in your in your chrono field there. Um, it's a it's a tough choice, you know. But yeah, I'll, I'll try I'll, I'll try these for now. We'll see. Um, and here's our robotic siege units. We have Colossi with the Fire Lance. And what these ones do is it's uh, you do an additional 100 damage uh, to ground units in an area over 5 seconds. That just kind of sets the ground on fire and... I mean, it's not bad. I mean, it's just... The Colossi are just good, period. Um, like, I, I have no complaints about this, but you also have the Reavers here. Automatically build Scarabs. Oh, by the way, this is, yeah, uh, Starcraft 1 unit. Uh, so you have Scarabs instead. Now... I really do actually like these guys. Actually, maybe better than the Colossus, because the Colossus have a giant disadvantage, and, and that is that they count as air units as well. Um, I mean, you get that you maintain the range, but you don't have uh, corruptors coming, especially when you don't build a lot of air units, because uh, they can't attack air, and then they just kind of get destroyed by corruptors and stuff. So I don't know. I like sticking with Reaver, but I think they're both really good options. So um, I mean, either one is uh, up to you. Let's go to the Solar Core. Ah, uh, Artanis, it is good to see you. 
Your plan worked, Kerax. The stasis grid is down. We must act now. If we can bring Cybros online, the battle station should begin to defend itself. And the purifiers? They have lain dormant for millennia. They may still harbor anger towards us. If they turn on us, we will have to fight. We failed them before, not understanding what it was we had birthed. These personalities may be replications, but they are alive. After spending so much time with Phoenix, I share your belief. It's like a hippie Protoss. Cybros will not be able to resist the Zerg for long. We should move quickly if we hope to save the purifiers. I require your honest counsel, Phoenix. Do you believe the purifiers will join us? I do not know. They may harbor rage, resentment for the actions of our forebears. The Daylom is not the Conclave. We are united in purpose, like never before. And that is why the purifiers must be allowed to choose their fate for themselves. Without freedom, a people can be controlled, but never united. This is true. And yet, the firstborn have ill need of another enemy. And I believe in you to not create one. Your actions determine the future for both the Templar and the Purifiers. But now is the time to act, Hierarch. You are right. The way forward may be difficult, but it is necessary. Thank you, my friend. Alright, see the core now. And we get 20 Solarites, so that means... Oh, we get to play Phoenix! Now, I'm going to tell you this about um, Phoenix after using him for a bit. He's actually quite nice. Um, I like it because he can actually one like he can solo a bunch of uh, what are they called? The, the hybrid. Uh, if you ever have like an attack that has like a lot of hybrid, this kid can solo them. It's he's actually pretty good for that. Um, is he worth 100? Eh, that's up to you. Um, I mean. I would at least encourage you to go for Shield Overcharge, because that's a good pushing uh, ability here. But, I mean, Phoenix can just, like, if there's any kind of, like, weird kind of boss thing or group of hybrids or something, like, oh shit, I'm fucked. Yeah, you'll just kill them all. So, um, pretty good shit. And we're going to just put the rest on construction time, so. Uh, I think that's all the time we got for today. I hope you're enjoying and take care. Goodbye.